What's up guys, Aaron here, As Ventures Australia. So, I just want to do a quick review on uh, my Mickey Thompson Baja MTZ P3s. So this set I have on my car, 2015 Ford Ranger XLS, is uh, a set of 3157516. Um, I've had these on my car now for about 65,000 kilometers. Um, and in that time, I've done many trips. I've done the high country a couple of times. I've been up, to, to, up and back to Queensland multiple times. Um, for four drive trips, I've done more at Nyland twice with these tyres um, and then also I've done snow driving, I've done hectic tracks in the Wadigans around my area here um, and then day to day towing um, on this tyre, um, yeah I tow every single day to, with my tradie trailer for work. Um, also I get down to Redhead Beach heaps, so this tyre has been put through its paces, I feel. And um, yeah, I just want to let you guys know my thoughts on the tire, the performance, and and the overall, and overall what I think of it. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, first of all, let's go to on-road use. As I said, I do tow a, a two-ton tradie trailer every day for work. So, um, yeah, these things have, yeah, really handled that. I do have a tune in, um, in the car to compensate for the bigger tire size compared to the stock size, which has really made a difference um, in fuel economy and, and just general general day-to-day -day driving and towing. If you were thinking about um, going up a tire size um, when you're towing a lot, um, I'd highly recommend getting a tune it just brings that power back that you lose when you put on a set of 35s. These tires, being a full mud tire, um, they are, I think, 80% off-road, 20% on-road. They do have quite large, large lugs when you first get them, um, being brand new. And since then, they have started to wear out a fair bit. Um, but in saying that, I do rotate them every five to seven thousand kilometers um, side to side diagonally rear to front um, and i do run what i think are correct tire pressures after speaking to a fair few tire mobs when getting them balanced and aligned um, every time i i ask them and they all recommend 36 psi range um, which i found on my car works really well these tires been being a full muddy, they are quite loud on road. Um, I've had a lot of people say that. Um, if you read a lot of other reviews, they do say they are quite loud, um, but which is to be expected for such an aggressive mud tire. Um, I don't really care about the, the noise too much um, because I do have a lot of other stuff on my car. I've got plenty of lights. I've got two different roof racks with lights on tops on top and a lot of gear on there. So the wind noise for me kind of outweighs the hum of uh, these tires. But I'll just flick to a quick, quick shot. Um, driving down the highway at 110 kilometers just so you um, hear what I hear in my cab. So yeah, you notice there is a bit of wind noise but you can still hear the hum of the tire. But 
I like my music as well, so I just turn my music up a lot louder and it's not an issue for me. Some people um, I know would um, get pretty annoyed with, with the noise, having to yell at your passenger. Now to the off-road capabilities of these tyres. Um, I personally think they're a great tyre off-road. I've seen and been out with many different cars with all sorts of different brands of tyres. Um, and, and I think with mud tyres, um, it's a each to their own kind of deal. Um, I do love these tyres off-road. Um, I do, I've done um, a lot of sand driving um, been so close to Redhead Beach um, and then we got the Wadigans so close as well which is a lot of hard sandstone um, a lot of sh a lot of rocky stuff um, you got a lot of mud so there's a wide variety of different sort of terrain out in the Wadigans um, which these tires have been great in um, of course when they were brand new they were bloody awesome but as time has gone by and they have worn out a fair bit over 65,000 kilometers um, you I've really started to notice the difference um, I might get a fair bit more wheel spin um, which I can let the tires down a little bit more it does help with that larger footprint um, which isn't isn't too bad but yeah these are such an aggressive mud tire um, over time with the driving that we've been doing on them um, I have noticed a few little chips and and nicks out of the tires um, a lot of wearing on the back um, when from all that wheel spin um, yeah going up some technical rock climbs and and things like that but overall I think they're such a good aggressive mud tire um, for the sort of technical driving that we do do um, like I said I've been out with lots of different tyres um, tyre brands on mates cars um, and yeah I I personally think um, that the Mickey Thompson overall has held up really well compared to some of those other brands um, we did do a track not long ago um, we all drove the same line and one one of the boys did get a puncture um, blew the sidewall um, and we don't know how it happened as we all drove the same line but he's just happened to pop I'll show you a quick video now on the same track with the Mickey Thompson on Lancer's car um, smaller tires just absolutely bent over this little twig or oh, not a little twig bent fully bent over and wrapped around a stick that was in one of the ruts and then just squished up against the um, rim and I thought for sure that the tire was going to pop but being such a strong sidewall on these Mickey Thompson's that power ply um, sidewall construction it it amazed me at how well it just soaked up that stick and kept rolling um yeah at that point i was like well this is when i really trusted um this particular tire So I'm not really going to go through any um, pros and cons as I, it was kind of a, I didn't really feel like I needed to do any sort of thing like that. I was just letting you guys know my thoughts on this particular tyre. Well, what I have found is as they are starting to get a lot lower now, um, I have found it's mainly only when towing the tire, towing um, the trailer that I every now and then if if it's raining um, and I'm on a big hill with a two-ton trailer I do have to flick it into four high um, as I will get a little bit of wheel spin so I just flick it four high get moving turn it off but that's probably my only biggest issue um, really in the big scheme of things with this particular tire 
but as I said, it's done 65,000 kilometers and I guess, yeah, every person is different. But if you, if you didn't like a loud tire, um, these probably aren't the tire for you as they are. Like I said, they're quite loud. And I've been told that by mates many times, how loud they are when I've been driving next to them on the freeway. But a bit of, bit of extra music never hurts anyone. So um, yeah, so there you go guys. Just my thoughts on the tires. Would I run them again? Yep. Um, will these be my next set of tires? No, I'm gonna go a different set of tires. Um, so when they're on, um, yeah, I'll do a review on those tires. But I'd love to know what you guys um, thought of these tires if you've had them before. Did you have any problems with them? Um, yeah, I like them, but everyone's different. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna see any more of these videos, um, yeah, let us know. Give us a like and give us a subscribe. And thanks for watching.